Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Pay Day 3 is uh, having you know crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck overloading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So uh, the Pay Day 3 is officially not released, it will be released on 21 but uh, for me i'm having the game because i purchased the uh, gold edition so uh, for me that is why i purchased this gold edition uh, gold 3 golden edition which is comes ring around this particular price so i'm having right now i can play the game without an issue so i tried playing the game it is i have to say it is an awesome game so some of these might be having this so without wasting time let me directly get into this the first one when you're having this particular trouble all we have to do is we just need to do a simple restart on your pc or your system for this, we just need to go over here in the start, click over here, click on the power icon, go for a restart. Once after restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. So doing a restart is actually a simple step and you can try this out. So once after this, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is instead of launching the game from Steam, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So this worked for many of the users for many games, so you can try the same. For this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the properties now from here go to the install it file and we just need to click on the browse right now when you click on the browse what happens is so once afterwards we just need to click on the browse so that will be redirecting you to the installation folder if you check over here so that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common payday 3 and now from here we have to go into the content and we have to launch the game so uh, we need to check where the content is so this is actually the client so even if you go over here in the binaries you have to check win64 and this is the application so we can launch the game from here so uh, when you launch the game most probably instead of launching the game from steam if you start launching the game from the uh, you know uh, the particular installation folder it will be working it did work it for many users you can try the same next one we have to end we are in the installation folder i'll be showing you two more steps which is all about we have to run the game as an administrator for this we just need to click on this one right click and we have to go for show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility and we have to click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game so that is what we have to do so once we run the game as an administrator if the issue is still there we can try running the game in the compatibility mode for this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to show more options and we have to go to the properties compatibility and we have to click on trend this program in the compatibility mode and we have to go over here and we have to go for windows 7 go for apply and go for ok so if you're on windows 8 go for apply and go for ok as well so once we set this up and we just need to close this and we have to go back try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not if that is not working we have to move to the next one Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to, uh, you know, set the language, date and region should be correct. Not the language, the region, date and time zone should be correct. For this, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for settings over here. Now go to the time and language, go to the date and time, make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This is very important. The users who are watching this, make sure this is turned it on as well as this should be turned it on. Now just go back, go back to the language and region. Now from here as you can see the country or region. So uh, you have to select the respective country and you have to make sure that you have to select the country which is according to geography. So if I'm from United States, I have to select United States. If I'm from United Kingdom, I have to change this to United Kingdom and I have to do the respective one. So once afterwards, try go back to the game, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. And still if the issue is there, we can try with the next one. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game and once you launch the game we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and this is a very important step and it worked for many users you can try this out just click on the play button I mean press Alt and Tab and it worked for this so you can try this out as well. Next one we have to delete the saved game file. So this is very important so just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC, go to the documents, sorry, go to the documents 
and over here you will be see there are a few games in the same way if you go to the folder my games you will be able to find the folder for the payday 3 once you get into the game started playing the game and saving each levels of the game you'll be getting the uh, folder on the payday 3 and from here what you need to do is you just need to delete the folder and keep in mind once you delete the folder what happens is you will be losing all the progressions of the game and what we need to do is once you delete it we just need to close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, allow the game to windows security which is a very important step for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the control panel now go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and airport feature through windows defender firewall now from here we need to keep scrolling down and navigate to payday 3 so if scrolling down and navigate to p over here just as you can see the payday 3 and also you have to keep in mind that this both the private and public should be checked this is very important and once afterwards we just need to go over here in the uh, next step but keep in mind if the game is not here we can add it by default for this we just need to go over here in the change settings go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc and go to local disc c go to program file x86 go for steam and we have to go to steam amps go to common now from here we have to go over here in the payday 3 and we have to navigate to the payday 3 select the uh, over here we have to select the respective one not this one let me go back so from here we have to select the application and we have to add it so here i'll not be able to add it because i'll be getting the error because the game is already successfully added once afterwards we just need to go back and we just need to try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so this is very important so right now in the system which i'm demonstrating you guys i'm already connected with the controllers and also one side of my port is connected to the logitech wheels so this is causing the issue so just remove everything the controllers should be removed uh, uh, you know uh, i have to say the joystick should be removed the logitech wheel should be connected uh, removed everything should be removed once afterwards launch the game once the game is successfully launched and if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller just connect it back and continue playing the game so this worked for many users as well so you can try this out next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot on a system so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the system configuration now go to the services over here and we have to go to the disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok and from here as you can see the users who are watching this we have to go for a restart after the restart try launch the game i'm going to go for exit without restart but here we're in the middle of shooting with the ops so i'm going to go for exit without a restart afterwards see whether the issue is solved or not still if the issue is there with which is all about we can try with the next one that is all about we have to roll, uh, disable the steam overlay so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties now from here as you can see we have to if this is enabled we have to turn this off once you turn this off we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine that is what we have to do so it is very important we have to turn this off and try launch the game and also what we need to do is afterwards we just need to try launch the game even if it's still it's not working we can try with the next one next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to give the commands in the launch option for this what we need to do is we just need to go over here right click we have to go to the properties and here we have to give the commands in the launch option and the first command is we have to give dx11 should be the first one try launch the game so if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and we have to try launch the game as well so if dx11 or dx12 if any one of the thing will be working fine if that is not working let's move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the graphics settings now from here over here as you can see this is what it is so i have already added many games in the same way i have to add the game so just click on the browse now from here we have to go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 scroll down navigate to steam go for steam apps and we have to go to the common now from here we have to scroll down and navigate to payday 3 go to the payday 3 and from here i have to navigate to uh, the content not the content sorry i have to go to the binaries go to win 64 and this is the application select this one and go for add so once as you can see the game is already added so just click on the option make sure this is on high performance by default this will be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this we just need to close this and we have to go back 
try launch the game that is what we have to do next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go to view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is c now go for the custom size set the value to the initial size that is 1.5 times total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so the max initial size is 1.5 so we just need to go over here go to the calculator so we just need to type the ram so 32 gb is my ram so i have to type 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 so i have to type into 1024 and i have to multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so just copy this and we have to paste it next one is all about we have to go for 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well once you're done with this one just go for ok and set everything and do a restart is not a mandatory but try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not still if the issue is there and you're not able to fix this up do not worry we can try a few more steps and one among them is update the graphics card manually for this for this we just need to go over here once after that we just need to go over here and update the driver for updating the driver as you can see i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd the nvidia users have to go over here and as you can see the product type should be selected and the product series should be selected and the product should be selected and along with the operating system so i'm on windows 11 so let me do according to it so you can do the same and once you go for the language and we have to go for a start search now from here as you can see when you go over here and we'll be able to see so these are the latest released versions of graphics card so i have to find the driver version 537.34 and it is released on september 12 2023 so it's the latest one download this one install restart is mandatory and try launch the game so if you're on the amd just go over here select every details over here and go for submit and if you go for the submit if you're on windows 11 download the 64-bit edition if you're on windows 10 you can download the 64-bit edition and try installing restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so uh, if you're on the microsoft you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus which work it for many of the users so you can try this out as well for this we just need to go over here keep scrolling down and navigate to x64 based one so you can download this one if the system is based on x64 if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so even after trying with this all these things and if issue is still there we can try with one more step actually not one it is about two steps that is all about the last two steps we can try uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back so for this we just need to go over here and go to the manage and install the game so keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back i'm having only local disk c so i should not be installing it back on c i should be having a multiple disk and i have to install it back on it so it worked for me for the game left for dead 2 back for blitz and for many games we can try this out next one is all about the last and the least one is all about we have to try verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties install it file and click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if you're having any kind of issue this will be letting you know this so we'll just wait this to reach 100 percentage and once after that i'll be showing you the next step
So once afterwards, you just need to close this and try launching the game. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with Payday 3 and how you can fix this app. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.